our first year anniversary is coming up, our birthday of sorts, Project Life Size, is turning one year old, and it's very exciting, and it's insane to think that that much time has gone by, and I feel like a lot of the topics that we've discussed have really made me think, and really made me think about who I am and what are the things that I believe. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know that today I was not having the best day. I had a mental breakdown <laughs> in front of my mother. I was talking to her and I just started crying. Okay. So I've been approached about possibly being part of a reality-based documentary type show. And I was found through Project Life Size and the things that we've been doing here. I think it would be a really amazing opportunity for just to have plus size women out there that aren't necessarily trying to lose a bunch of weight or pinning all their hopes on a guy. I think not only would it promote the channel, but it would promote my, mu it would promote my music. I'm not really torn, I'm kind of torn. Um, Reality TV leaves a bad taste in my mouth, and I don't watch it because it a lot of times it seems like a necessary conflict and drama, and it hurts me inside, and I feel like a lot of shows with plus-size women, they put them in situations that I find really demeaning and demoralizing and um, upsetting to me. Um, so I am I would be really, really excited to not promote obesity, but to show that you don't have to be super depressed and hate yourself and and be larger. Um, and it's taken me so long to realize that I'm, I'm actually kind of a happy person. I fear being a joke. And as much as I do as far as social networking, there's still, I have a lot of privacy. I don't, I don't have cameras following me all the time. And it's, it's one of those things, this could be amazing, this could be fantastic or this could not be so fantastic. One of my biggest fears is I know that with shows like that, they have to create some kind of storyline or drama. Like you have to have something keeping the action going. And I look at my life, I'm like, I'm not dating anyone. And I kind of just like sit and do YouTube videos and work on online stuff and kind of cultivating these relationships and these friendships. And when I'm not doing that, I'm working on music and I'm packaging CDs. And part of me wants to kind of just hide in this little cocoon of safety. And I don't want things to change. And I don't know why I keep getting so upset because it's not that I'm not excited by it. It's such a cool opportunity. Like, imagine being 12 years old and seeing someone on TV that doesn't... Mm, that looks like you and is doing the things that they want to do and like it would have just been fantastic to have that when I was younger and I get more love than I get hate on YouTube and I feel like it would be in, it, not inspiring but it would just be something different but I'm scared you know like I'm just being honest I'm terrified And it's like, I feel like to put yourself out there, you have to be so brave. And I've always thought that, that I'm brave, but I don't know. Like, in order to move forward and to break barriers and to make people realize that people that look like me are real people. I know that things like this have to happen, but it's so terrifying when you're the person that you feel like has to do it. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan at all. I have... An outline. I have a sketched outline <laughs> of the things that I want to do. I've always been that way. I've always been kind of hesitant about making huge life decisions and uh, about doing the wrong thing. I know it's going to be the poster child for fat girls. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Oh, maybe I did. I don't know. My question to you guys is when it comes to curvy girls or plus size girls on television, shows like Ruby or dancing your ass off, whatever the hell these things are, I don't know. Um, what are the things that really let you down in the programming? What are the things that you wish you could see? What are the things that you you really want to watch um, that you don't feel is represented on TV? Because I value your guys' opinion. On a side note today, my mother referred to me as someone with my situation. 
<laughs> and I was like, am I 16 and uh, having a baby out of wedlock? <laughs> what the hell does it mean, your situation? Let me know what you guys think. And beyond that, happy birthday, Project Life Size. You guys are awesome.